Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, as many of you requested this video from my last fall, I will be sharing with you on how to stay organized during online class. So I will both share digital and non-digital organization tips. So yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So for my first tip is to have your to-do list. It can be in any piece of paper or you can use digital to-do list if you want. I'm using the Microsoft to-do list because it does work perfectly fine and convenient. Here it has different tabs so you can easily access those specific tasks you planned, important, or assigned to you. And you can also add another list. Here I just added the meeting IDs of our Zoom meeting during synchronous classes. So I can easily copy and paste the information. Just type here your to-do, put some due date and a reminder of it. So press enter to save it and you can also mark it as important. So usually I open this every time I'm using my laptop and I just place it on the side to be on track of the things I have to do. So if you're doing your notes digitally, the best way is, of course, you have to make individual notebooks for every subject you take. Put some sections in your notebook, like here in my OneNote. I indented the lessons we discuss under a certain module or topic so I can easily access it and I can navigate between pages. So it will be much easier for you because that is how I arrange my digital notes and I think it can help you also. Next is to organize your computer files. So spend at least 15 to 20 minutes of your time organizing them. Don't wait for a hundred files to pile up in your device before you place them in their specific folders. So I make it a habit every week that I should at least categorize them to prevent looking for those specific files for ours so in here i have a bunch of folders and inside them are subfolders on where i further categorize my files so after i downloaded a bunch of modules and powerpoints from our canvas or our lms i will then categorize them so first i place two files windows side by side so i can easily move my files from one place to the other and that is how i organize my files in my device Now let's move forward to the websites I use on how I stay organized. So first is Identity. So basically it helps you organize everything you do online in one place. And as you can see here, there are tiles where when I click it, it will automatically bring me to that specific website. You can easily search here the websites you included and you can access it right away. You can add a new tile by clicking here and type the website's name. So here I just wanted to include Notion. Next, I'm gonna copy the link of my Notion page or you can also use a specific page within it, within your Notion. Like if you want to be directed to your Akans page automatically, then you can use that link and paste it on identity. So you can also put here your username and password to easily log in into your account. And if you want to include it in a specific category, so just type it here in the category tags. So by clicking the drop down menu here in the side, you can see the different categories of your links. So it simplifies your internet or online experience also organize the tabs you use. So there will be times that the one you included doesn't have an icon automatically. So the best remedy there is to find pictures of the icon on Google. So here I just search for YouTube Studio icon and I just save the photo. Or you can basically use any pictures you want. To edit it, click the three dots at the right hand corner of the tile. Then click edit tile. And you can choose the picture and click save tile. As I've mentioned before, you can include your username and password to that specific site so you don't need to type them every time and you can also copy and paste it. So by clicking this icon above, you can copy your password. 
So identity also allows you to add some notes and to-do list. So just click the plus icon and you can now start typing your to-dos or notes. You can also add a tile in your to-do like the link of the website you're gonna use and a due date. And that is all for identity. I have a link down below so you can go check it out and uh, organize your online space. And thank you so much Identity for sponsoring this video. Again, I have a link below in my description box if you want to try it out. So, yes. Now let us move forward to Google Calendar. This will really help you a lot in scheduling your days, weeks, or months. And honestly, I rarely use this because I just usually use my Microsoft to-do list. But from time to time, I do include schedules I have to remember. And uh, the good thing here also is that you can place your school calendar from your Canvas or your learning management system so to add yours just click from url option so i copied the link of my canvas calendar and paste it here so if you see those green highlighted events those are from my canvas calendar and of course i think you already know how to navigate google calendar so just simply click on a date then start typing your task or event so you can also add a time location and so on and to easily identify that specific event, I suggest that you make use of different colors to categorize them. Like uh, you can use red for quizzes, green for your project deadlines, and uh, etc. And you can also access here your Google Keep and your Google Tasks. And that is all for Google Calendar. So next is Notion. So I have a video on how I made this Notion page and the template. I will link the video below or in the iCard. So let's go to my icons page and the first thing you'll see here is my weekly schedule and some stuff on the side. So honestly, I rarely use this icons page but I use Notion for my video planning and stuff. So anyways, I have here a toggle list for my performance task. I'm just gonna place this one and add a due date. As you can see here, I don't really have a lot of pages because I use Notion for for taking notes and uh, yeah I just wanted to share this idea on where you can organize stuff online so Notion is my top suggestion if you want to organize digitally now let us proceed to Google Drive so I use this to upload my files and of course to save storage space on my device so just like how I organize my folders in my laptop which I showed you a while ago I make a specific folder here and inside that are some folders on which I categorize my files to locate them easier and I use my school email to avail unlimited storage in my Google Drive but I'm not sure to other school emails if if this works also or if your school allows you to have an unlimited storage in Google Drive so basically I transfer here my files specifically I transferred those previous files that I have from our previous semester and usually after I uploaded my files I will delete them on my device and in the recycle bin to save up storage and yeah, that is all on how I stay organized digitally and the websites I use. And I hope that you got something or you got an idea. And again, I have a link to identity in my description box if you want to check it out to organize your online space. Now let us move on on how to stay organized non-digitally. So the first is of course you should have a designated work or school space, whatever you want to call it. Um, it doesn't need to be Pinterest-like or to be very aesthetic, just make sure that it is functional. So here above my desk, I have a shelf where I place my books and notebooks and I just use a binder for all of the major subjects that I think will have a prerequisite for college level. So place your notebooks and books or your other school 
school stuff in a location that is accessible to you. And I have here a frosted storage box where I place all of my wires such as my laptop charger, earphones, and etc. Now I will share with you on how I organize my non-digital notes or my printed notes. So for my printed notes, I use a binder to organize them. I printed them on a loose leaf paper, again, in which I have a video on that. But in my other subjects, I just use a plain band paper to print them. And to organize those notes, I use a file folder organizer. Also, I place here the subject name at the top so I know and where to find the notes easily on that particular subject. And yeah, that is how I organized my printed notes. And yeah, that is all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you learned something and you got an idea on how to stay organized during online class. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And see you on my next video. Bye!